Hey, what's up, guys? We are on the end of the pace lap. I spot finger shot for the GR86 Cup. We are on the grid in P4. We qualified P4 for this race. That's going to be a six lap race, 15 minutes. And uh, pretty close field here. We have uh, all the same car, all the uh, GR86 Cup cars, which, in my opinion, is a really great race car. I'm always a fan of these slower cars. They race a lot better than the faster cars. We run closer together and things like that. So, into the bus stop chicane. We are about to take the green flag here. We're already going. Green flag's coming out, and we are off towards La Source. Taking a wide line, at turn uh, turn one here. Nice and safe. I don't want to be near any cars, uh, especially in the opening lap because things can get pretty hairy. So, yeah, slide into uh, P4 here on the run down to Eau Rouge. And this is going to be a slipstream game in this uh, this race, a long straight uh, uphill to Kemmel. Too close to the car ahead. The car behind me can get a good substream now. So the car's ahead, pull over to the left side of the track. I had delayed a bit. I want to give the guy behind me a little bit of hesitation. He's not sure which way to go. So I kind of left it a little late on my uh, move across the track. Hmm. Top of the hill here, we have a little bit of trouble ahead. The car is. Uh, getting into each other and the wall is quite close there so the, he bounces right off the wall and knocks that car back across the track over my rear wing. He does touch me. I do get a couple incident points for that but luckily there was no damage from that uh, contact. You can see here in the replay uh, definitely took a hit there. Got 2x for it but uh, didn't affect my race and now I'm up to P2 and uh, chasing down the leader here in the, uh, in the black 86. Our pine's fairly close as well. But I have a little bit of breathing space now. We're a little bit more spread out. And uh, we can settle in a little bit into this race. We have uh, Bolan uh, not Blanchard, this is Puhan. Coming up to Puhan here. Really fast left hand sippy corner. Very easy to go off track there at the uh, middle of the cur curve where you are tracking out to the right side. Easy to put four wheels off over that curve and get a get a one X in I racing, but uh, keeping it tidy. Just keeping it clean now. Trying to trace the car head down. Want to get into the slipstream range before uh, the next straightaway. Not, not quite there. Maybe just a little touch of it, but uh, nothing nothing massive. 1.1 seconds, so yeah, not going to get too big of a toe here, but the car behind is about one second as well, so nothing crazy there either, so nice, nice relaxing back straight here. Coming up to Blanche Mount, we're going to hit this corner flat out. And you see here the car behind me is quite a ways back, but he's going to try to do a little dive out late in the brakes maneuver, and he just barely makes it. Uh, misses me, actually. And luckily, I, I turned in early enough to miss that, and the cars behind me came together. So, uh, it was myself and the P1 car more breathing space, and I'm definitely now within slipstream range. Half a second going into the source hairpin. Point six down the hill to Eau Rouge. We're definitely within slipstream range now, but uh, don't want to press the issue. It's early in the race. We still have uh, a bunch of laps left, so I want to follow this guy, see how he does for a bit. See where he's quick, see where he's uh, struggling a little bit. Try to make my move when I can pinpoint that stuff. In the uh, slipstream now up the Kemmel Straight. Really good place to get the to toe because you are uh, the whole straight's uphill. Slightly. It doesn't look like it's uphill, but it's uphill, and the car will um, pass it greatly from a toe. Top of the hill here, and you can see already that I'm quicker than him to this this, uh, this chicane at the end of the straight. 
sniff a little bit with my nose into, into the corner here and uh, didn't quite, I could have went for it, but I didn't quite go for it because I still want to stay behind him. Now I know that he is slower at the top of the hill, so that will be my main opportunity to uh, try to make a pass on him. Still want to stay close, give him a little bit of pressure. Back down to Puhan here. Double apex right hander. Pretty close going into this next set of curves here, the S, S bends here. Just keeping it within touching distance, within slipstream distance. I'm a lot closer here than I was last lap. Definitely within a second. To the final bus stop she came before the start finish line. Closing up a little bit on the braking there. This car has such great brakes, it feels some good confidence on him. At least uh, I get the good feeling with him. So we're on to lap three. We are 0.6 behind, and I'm going to try to make my move now into this uh, up the camel straight, get a good slipstream, and try to get ahead of this guy. point in the race now where we're about halfway through and I want to try to get some good position and set up for the rest of this race. You can already see the toe taking effect here. Got a better run through uh, Raddy on there. And I'm already right on him. Point two. Just tuck it right back into that slipstream. The closer you get, the more effective it's going to be. Just make a pop out for the pass on the Kemmel. take the position well before the chicanes up here. And the goal is to try to try to pull away a bit and try to uh, create a bit of a gap using all the curve on Apex there. Tricky downhill breaking zone here for the right hander. Very easy to uh, understeer through that. See a little bit of a gap opening up. And you can definitely see a big gap between myself, the second place, and then the third place uh, battle back there. Big uh, big gap. So we're pretty comfy up here in the P1, P2 positions. Not really pulling away too much, but uh, still feel quite comfortable with the gap to the car behind here. And of course, he'll get a bit closer in the toe here on the back straight. Um, you can't really pull away if you got a car within, within a second behind you. You're going to... Uh, He's going to be with you the whole time, so which is fine. You expect that in a kind of race like this. These, these slower power cars rely on momentum and drafting, so take a defensive line to the bus stop. Then I'll let him uh, have the inside line there. He goes a little wide on the first apex, which allows me to pull away a little bit in the exit there. A 0.8 second gap to the car behind as you cross the line for lap four. Good spot to break for the source, cut the corner inside really close and a little bit of a little bit of a slide on the way out. Maybe not a slide, a little bit of a 
unsettling on the way out of this corner there. But we're still point nine. He's still within range of slipstream, but we have a good gap. Keeping it as tidy as possible to a Rouge and Radion here, up to Kemmel. If you can even make one mile an hour uh, by keeping it smooth, it's gonna help you all the way up the hill and keep it nice and uh, uh, keep your momentum up the whole way up. Lose that same speed, and you're going to uh, feel it all the way up the straight. And it closes to 0.5 on the braking here. Once again, into the top chicane, top of the hill. 0.9 second gap to the car behind, so a little bit of a, oh, not 0.7, now 0.6. He's catching now. I made a little bit, but uh, lost a little bit of time through that top chicane there, but he's right there. He's close. So you can never just pull away from these guys. He's all over the rear bumper of my car now. Um, into Puhan again. We have, uh, he's right there. He's taking a sniff, but uh, not a really great passing corner. See, he's following me. He's getting a feel of how, where I'm uh, strong and where I'm weaker. So I do actually prefer to follow than to lead uh, as I'm racing because uh, A, it gives me a little more confidence, and B, it lets me, um, lets me have a little bit of extra edge. I always turn my fastest lap when I'm, laps when I'm behind the car in front of me. It's the same for real life, too, when I was doing Skip Barber. The... Uh, when I ever had a car in front, I was always uh, quicker, more consistent than when I was by myself. Something to focus on is always nice to have. And he's close again, but not as close as the last time into the bus stop. Uh, so I didn't really go defensive there. And uh, we're, he's still right there, though. He's not, not that far off. Including yet another lap here. We're going to take the... Start at lap five. He's still close into the source hairpin one more time here. We are tight to the apex, but uh, keeping it clean. He's well within that slipstream range now. 0.4 behind. So you'll see how that gap comes down as we reach the top of the camel. at point three. He's, he's, you can see him closing in. I'm going defensive for sure now because I do not want to give him the inside line. I'll force him around the outside. Chicane at the top of the hill. And if I can outbreak him here, it's going to be a, a battle of the brakes. I just managed to hold him off a bit. At the inside line, you could definitely break a lot earlier than uh, the car on the outside because you have to intersect the racing line a little bit later than he has to, so a little bit of a chance to break a little later. Oh, right here we got a little bit of oversteer moment, which I, on the fly, correct with some front, un I'm turning some front lock to get the front to slide. I have a right hand lock here to get the front hand tires to lose grip and slide, which helps neutralize the slide of the rear tire so kind of give me a little neutral neutral four wheel slide which uh, prevented me from spinning so I did lose the position but I, I only lost one position and didn't end up spinning off to the gravel so now the name of the game is to chase him back down for this race win we're going to have one more lap to go as we come to that start finish straight Wide of the apex there. Not the cleanest. Losing all the curb on the track out there. A 
Close enough for a slipstream here. We got point four to the car ahead there, P1. It's gonna stay in his wheel tracks to get the best possible tow. We're gonna get close to Blanchemont here. Slightly defensive, but uh, pulls it out to the entry curve on the way uh, towards it. Lose a little bit of ground going into that bus stop. I think I'm overdriving the car a bit, not trying to catch the guy. But uh, final lap, final lap. Point five seconds going into the source here, but for the final time. Point six seconds, we are within range. Not as close as I'd like to be, but it'll still give some effect up the hill. Keeping it clean, and minimizing any scrubbing of the front tires to keep the speed up the hill here. Just following his wheel tracks once again to uh, get that little helping hand up the hill here. Quite close enough to pop out for a pass. Point two to the top of the hill, which is not close enough. Not really safe for a dive bomb there, so. Here though, I get a little sniff up the inside, but he just cuts me off literally. Which, fair to fair play to me covers the inside there, but. Uh, losing, doing that uh, shallow entry hurt my exit speed, so. Lose a little bit of ground here down the uh, right hander and that did not help tipping off two wheels into the gravel and grass did hurt my chances here so um, not the greatest it's overdriving overdriving a bit now which is not what I want to be doing and uh, I've been back more than I'd like to drop back for the second half of this lap Really wide of the apex there, trying to. I'm just overdriving now, so I think I'm just resigning myself now to second place, trying too hard, which is never a good thing. Yeah, went way too far away for a slipstream now. But there's still chances, though. You never know when you're in a race like this. Even if you're back a bit, the guy ahead could make a mistake. There's still time left on the clock that that can happen. We uh, always push to the end just in case something does happen. There's been races I've done where, you know, I end up uh, finishing first when I'm down in fourth or so, stuff like that. So it's always um, always possibility to, you know, have more predictability. But in this case, it doesn't happen. He makes it through the bus stop cleanly, as do I. And uh, we both finish P1 and P2. But we do have a nice healthy six-second lead over the car in P3. So not a bad race. Finishing P2 after starting P4. So we gained two positions during the race and a uh, nice little battle and led a couple laps, which is always fun. Really good race, guys. Did a great job tonight. Good career, you guys did a great job. Good work, everybody. Thank you. Had another fast race. It's a nice race in the GR86 Cup there. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys for the next video. I want to do more of these like this, so hopefully soon we can get that going. Like and subscribe, guys. Let's do it again next time.